Welcome to our tutorial about the Steinberg key. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about that little USB connector device that came with your Cubase software. This is what's known as a dongle or an e-licenser. It's a copyright protection device. More and more companies are providing these with their software products to prevent people from pirating the software simply by copying the CD or DVD that the software came on. You will need your key to obtain upgrades from Steinberg. Now remember, don't insert the key before you install Cubase. You insert the key into one of your computer's USB ports before you launch Cubase. Cubase won't launch or run if the key is not in your computer. And if you happen to remove the key while Cubase is running, let's say if you need to free up a port, you'll crash your session and possibly even crash your computer. The key stores your Cubase software license. You can check the licenses installed on your key by going to the Syncrosoft License Control Center. Go to Start, Programs on your Windows platform, or the Application folder on your Mac. If you purchase more than one software product from Steinberg, additional plugins that you want to use with Cubase, for example, you can store all your licenses on one dongle. You don't need to have multiple keys taking up all your USB ports at the same time. To transfer licenses from one key to another, you can use the License Transfer Wizard in the Syncrosoft License Control Center. And this concludes our tutorial about the Steinberg key.